AI humanoid robot figure 01 assists people at work as an all-around handy helper. AI humanoid robot figure 01 and its human abilities. In March 2023, robotics company figure emerged and suddenly introduced its master plan to build figure 01, an artificial intelligence humanoid robot that can think, learn, interact, and help people at work on its own. The self-moving and autonomous humanoid robot that is yet to be built is aimed to rely on the power of artificial intelligence to learn and predict its movement without anyone's help. No controls needed, Figure 01 can work for and on itself. Alongside its potential abilities to freely move, Figure says that its AI humanoid robot is designed for initial deployment into the workforce to address labor shortages and over time lead the way in eliminating the need for unsafe and undesirable jobs. With the first humanoid by our side in the workforce, we'll have the ability to create and produce so much more, address drastic labor shortages, and reduce the number of workers in unsafe jobs. Futuristic Voler Eftel by Bellwether takes to the skies in first flight test. An Eftel with supercar sex appeal. London-based Bellwether Industries has revealed footage from the first untethered flight of its Voler Eftel today, January 12, 2022. Described by the company as the new category of flying vehicle, the aircraft has a sleek, aerodynamic form that's more akin to a supercar than other Eftals currently in development. The UK company hasn't yet released the full spec for the first Voler prototype named Antelope, but we do know it's designed for private use and features a compact profile for agile intercity travel. We also know that the propulsion system that powers the vertical takeoff and landing is hidden underneath the aircraft's sci-fi-esque body. And from the renders, it looks like the Eftel seats just one passenger. Luwu Intelligence Technology announces launch of XGO2 World's First Raspberry Pi Robotic Dog with an Arm. Harbin, China January 31, 2023, Globe Newswire, Luwu, a STEM education technology company focused on the research and development of advanced robotics, has announced the launch of XGO2, an advanced desktop-sized AI quadruped robot with an arm. This state-of-the-art robot brings a new level of intelligence and functionality to the world of robotics. XGO2 is an intelligent and agile robotic dog capable of sophisticated movements, 12 degrees of freedom, and a variety of motions. Its open source nature allows users of all programming levels to program and customizes it with Blocky and Python. Additionally, the advanced AI modules built into XGO2 allow for visual, voice, and gesture recognition, enabling the robotic dog to hear, understand, and respond to users like a real dog. Dubai Healthcare City Not an island for millionaires, but this is Dubai Healthcare City, a floating island concept with its own underwater transportation system that is designed to provide state-of-the-art healthcare to the residents of the Emirate. No one looks forward to being unwell. But if it guarantees landing on the floating Dubai Healthcare City Island by Kalba Design Studio, people will start looking at illness very differently. This futuristic medical oasis in Dubai breaks the monotony of a hospital or wellness center by converting it into a multifunctional floating complex that marries quality healthcare with cutting-edge technology to make it the best place on the planet to be. It's difficult to imagine anyone feeling grim here, as the new crescent-shaped Dubai healthcare city island looks like a glorious five-star destination with intricate Islamic geometric design. It is a very technologically advanced structure that would successfully operate as a self-contained complex owing to an underwater transportation system, green-lined residences for patients seeking treatment, and educational and development facilities.
Sat Elliot launches first ever 5G standard low Earth orbit satellite. The Barcelona based startup has launched what is reportedly the first ever 5G standard low Earth orbit LEO, satellite to democratize access to the Internet of Things. Called the Groundbreaker, the satellite is the first piece of a future constellation of 250 nano satellites designed to communicate with terrestrial cell towers and fill gaps in data networks worldwide. A Falcon 9 rocket launched the satellite from SpaceX's launch facility at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California after three failed attempts due to weather conditions. The Barcelona-based company sees the technology as an opportunity for global realization of access to the Internet of Things IoT. Users can seamlessly switch from a terrestrial to a non-terrestrial 5G network with no need to purchase any extra hardware, such as antennas or modems. Also, thanks to the standard roaming agreements carried out by Sat Elliot, the users can keep using their current SIM cards and mobile operators. Meet the future of van life, GAC's sleek autonomous electric camper van unveiled. The Mars rover looking vehicle that we have right here may have as well been designed by Tesla with help from SpaceX in preparation for the first mission to Mars. But no, this sci-fi themed van is a concept vehicle from GAC, a state-owned automaker from China. Aptly named Van Life, it is already the second vehicle in a design series called Car Culture. The van has been designed by the European team from Milan, Italy, and interestingly it is debuting in Milan. The rest of the automotive world rushed to Shanghai to dazzle the audience, and the Van Life enjoys undivided attention in Europe a clever move. Vision Pro, Apple's new augmented reality headset unveiled. Apple has unveiled a much-anticipated augmented reality headset, Apple Vision Pro, in its first major hardware launch for almost a decade. Apple chief executive Tim Cook said the new headset seamlessly blends the real world and the virtual world. The tech firm also announced its latest iPhone operating system, as well as updates to MacBook Air. The headset has a two-hour battery life, costs $3,499, £2,849, and will be released early next year in the U.S. The cost is considerably higher than virtual reality headsets currently on the market. Last week Meta announced its Quest 3, which costs $499. Apple said little about generative artificial intelligence, the buzzy technology that is the talk of Silicon Valley. The company's share price fell slightly during the announcement, made at a developer's conference at Apple Park, the company's headquarters, in Cupertino, California. Moya prepares to flight test technology demonstrator for multi-role autonomous EFTL aircraft. Moya Aero is preparing to start test flights with a 70% scale prototype of its planned autonomous EVTOL aircraft. The Brazilian startup this week reported that the first flight will take place during the Southern Hemisphere's spring season, which starts in late September at an airfield called Fazenda Maristila near São José dos Campos. Having earned a $2 million grant earlier this year from FINEP, a Brazilian government organization that promotes science, technology, and innovation, the Moya team has now almost completed manufacturing the technology demonstrator, which will have a 5.5 meter, 18 foot wingspan. It expects early use cases for the unnamed aircraft to include functions such as crop spraying and cargo deliveries in large countries like Brazil. Amazon Astro Review, it's cute, getting more automated and not worth it yet. Amazon's ambitious robot assistant is equal parts fascinating and frustrating. It also still isn't for sale. Amazon's new robot helper Astro is available to buy by invite only for $1,000. 
I got my hands on one to test for over two weeks and I needed every minute of that time. Astro works as a smart display, a roving security guard, a toy for the kids, and an errand bot. And all of those features are built on an innovative piece of hardware. But is Astro worth the $1,000 early access price, let alone the $1,450 price tag Amazon plans to give it once it becomes generally available? Not yet. For now, this robot remains a luxury item for people with a lot of money to try out a cutting-edge technology that still lacks a compelling use case. Samsung's Biometric Card IC, all-in-one fingerprint solution for a new payment experience. Samsung's Biometric Card IC is an all-in-one security solution that offers biometric cards a variety of things they need to make everyday transactions safer and more convenient. This new fingerprint security chip was selected as a winner of the CES 2023 Best of Innovation Awards in the Cybersecurity and Personal Privacy category. Let us take a look at how this groundbreaking technology can help people solve one of the world's most pressing payment and identification problems. First of all, this video will give you a high-level understanding of how this technology will change the way people pay in the future. Pop-up farming pods will help colonizers grow crops on Mars. Interstellar Labs' first product is the Biopod, an inflatable dome where temperature, humidity, and the oxygen and carbon dioxide content of the air can be carefully monitored and controlled. With its completely white exterior and transparent roof, it looks like a shrunken down version of the Eden Project, or something pulled straight from the pages of 1970s science fiction. It's a super advanced autonomous greenhouse, says Belvisi. The terrestrial version of the biopod consists of a composite base, like the hull of a boat, that is filled with electronic and hydraulic equipment to control the environment. Inside, it is equipped with hydroponic or aquaponic equipment for growing plants without soil. It filters water and sunlight through a transparent membrane. A liquid fertilizer spray provides nutrients tailored to the specific plants being grown. An algorithm monitors and changes conditions to optimize plant growth. Fixer announces autonomous long-range Eftel Fixer 025. The full-stack European drone developer Fixer introduces an autonomous full electric drone Fixer 025 designed for large-scale missions for commercial and industrial applications. The Fixer 025 carries up to 10 kilograms, 22 pounds, payload for a distance up to 300 kilometers, 186 miles, and one battery charge. The operations are fully autonomous, assured by an in-house developed next-generation autopilot and X-Ground control systems, making it an efficient and reliable choice for BVLOS missions. Long anticipated increased flight distance and payload capacity have been unlocked and supplemented with versatility. The UAV allows to use broad array of sophisticated professional payload modules by easily swapping them and using the same aircraft for surveying, aerial imaging, remote sensing, surveillance, real-time monitoring and delivery, 